Hello and welcome to the simulation part of the tutorial. Somo noise analysis of switch cap amplifier. You know, in academia, we can do all sort of analytic analysis and write all the equations. But eventually, we need to confirm that, at least with simulation, and sometimes even with measurements, if that's applicable. So this time, we're going to do small signal uh, noise simulation in two phases, sampling phase and amplification phase. In particular, we're looking to uh, three different situations, depending on which noise is taken into account. Um, either the OTA noise, or the switch noise, or both of them. And finally, a short comparison among the three. So first, in the sampling phase, um, we need to find the noise charge at node Vx because it will be converted into an output noise voltage in the amplification phase. As mentioned before, in the first part of this tutorial, the noise power is this um, Kd over Cf with a multiplication factor of 1 plus Cs over Cf, or 1 plus the closed loop gain. And this is the schematic for noise simulation. And some design parameters, feedback cap for 100 femto, input cap or sampling cap for pico, Many that the closed loop gain is roughly 10. The OTA transconduction GM, 10 millisiemens. Upper resistance are out 2 mega ohm. And switch on resistance 1 ohm. Just to make sure that R on is way smaller than 1 over GM. The OTA input referred noise is approximated by a resistor with a value of 1 over GM. So the OTA noise PSD is the expected 4KT over GM. Basically, in this test bench, um, I want to calculate the noise charge of input cap QC in um, and feedback cap QCFB sum them together and then divide it by CF to obtain the output noise voltage V out 1. Um, of course, you can refer this to the input V in 1 by dividing the closed loop gain CS over CF or multiply by CF over CS as shown here. Now, interestingly, in cadence simulation environments, the OTA noise and switch noise um, can be enabled or disabled independently. So with that, we're looking into three different cases, depending on which noise is enabled or disabled. So case number one, we consider only um, the OTA noise. As you can see here, we have yes for the OTA noise and no, no, no for the switch noise. Um, from theoretical calculations, the output noise voltage um, is this square root of 1 plus Cs over Cf multiplied by Boltzmann constant, temperature in Kelvin, and then divided by Cf, which is uh, 337.6 microvolts RMS. 
and the 3 dB bandwidth is GM over 2 pi CS plus CF, which is uh, 361.7 megahertz. Now, with simulation, um, I got this noise PSD. Uh, bandwidth 358 megahertz, roughly the same as the calculation. The tiny difference may probably come from the finite, uh, non-zero, unresistance. And because of this uh, bandwidth reduction, the noise after integration is uh, 336 microvolts, around the one micro smaller uh, than the calculation. But anyway, this difference is rather small. And then case number two, we consider only the switch noise while the OTA noise is enabled. So here we have no for the OTA noise. Yes, yes, and yes for the switch noise. Since the switch on resistance um, is 100x smaller than 1 over GM, we can roughly say that its noise power is 100x smaller than OTA. Hence, its RMS um, noise voltage will be 10x smaller, you know, a square root of 100. As we just mentioned before, if we consider only the OTA noise, um, the output noise voltage is around 300 micro. So now, if we consider only the switch noise, then the output noise voltage should be more or less 30 micro. Um, and indeed, in simulation, we get uh, 30.7 microvolts. And finally, case number three, we have yes for the OTA noise, and yes, yes, and yes for the switch noise. In this case, the total output noise voltage is um, 337.55 microvolts RMS. So now the three different cases are summarized here. Uh, 336 for the OTA, 30 for the switch, and 337 if we consider both of them. As expected, the switch noise is pretty much negligible. Also, the total output noise power uh, is the summation of the two, you know, OTA plus switch, matches quite well with the manual combination using superposition principle. Okay, then we repeat the same process um, for the amplification phase. From theoretical calculations, um, the output noise power is KD over C amplified by 1 over beta or 1 over the feedback factor. So here the feedback factor beta is CF over CF plus CS, which is 1 over 11 or dot uh, 091. <clears throat> so again, case number one we consider only the, the OTA noise. So we have yes for the OTA noise, no, no, and no for the switch noise. From the calculations, the RMS um, output noise voltage is this uh, square root of one over beta multiplied by Boltzmann constant temperature in Kelvin, and then divided by Cl plus one minus beta 
CF, uh, which is 116.4 micro, matches quite well with the simulation, simulation 116.4 micro. Also, the simulated 3dB bandwidth um, is almost the same as the calculation. The minor difference might be, once again, due to the switch finite, non-zero, on resistance. And then case number two, um, we have yes for the switch noise and no for the OTA noise. Um, because here uh, we have multiple poles and the zeros the actual noise profile is a bit different compared to a single pulse system. But in any case, uh, the total noise after integration uh, is only 60 micro, almost negligible compared to the contribution from the OTA, as we just discussed in case number one. And finally, case number three, both OTA noise and the switch noise are enabled. The total output uh, noise voltage is 117.53 uh, 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 microvolts. So now let's summarize. Um, we have 116 for the OTA, 16 for the switch, and 117 uh, if we consider both of them. Once again, the switch noise is really, really negligible compared to the OTA. So yeah, this is the simple truth of noise analysis in switch cap amplifier. Also, the total output noise power is the summation of the two, which again verifies the superposition principle. So now we have a noise V out one from the amplifier from the sampling phase, and V out two from the amplification phase. Then the overall output noise power is the summation of the two. So eventually the final total output noise voltage is 357 microvolts RMS. Now, as you may notice already, this whole process is kind of a bit annoying, right? Because here we have to simulate two different test benches and then combine the results manually. So this really begs for the question, is there any alternatives? I mean, just by clicking a button, run one simulation and get the results. I mean, get the final results directly. For that, it's another interesting story. And I'll see you next time.